my name is Ezaz Patel and you are watching Ezaz Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 45 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDO. So guys in last tutorial we successfully designed this uh, by now and course general buttons here. So in this tutorial we are going to be working on this uh, wire smooth effect buttons, sharing buttons from here. So without wasting of time let's get start. So guys, I'm on the same page here. So going to the course left section here. Okay, here I'm going to create one div with the ID equal to course cell. Okay, let's end this div from here. And here I'm going to create a one button and we give the link with the href let's remove it the has and say we need here for icon we need here icon so going to the head section Copy this one from here, paste that one from here, and say cell. Change here with the Facebook. Let's see the output first of all. Refresh it. So you can see that the icon is not coming just because we make a mistake from here. So we are going to font awesome icons. Font awesome icons. Come back here. We find out with the Facebook. Yeah, Facebook S F F F. Facebook S F. Let's refresh and check. FB. Refresh. So you can see that F cell is coming from here. As the same way, we are going to use that button from here by Control C. Paste it, paste it, and paste it. Okay. The second one is Google. plus google plus share the next one is twitter share and the next one is uh, what is the next yeah whatsapp share whatsapp let's refresh and check So you can see that all the buttons are coming very perfectly. So now we need to design that button from here. So I can do the simply come back again from here into the style sheet. And here you are going to target the course sav div and with the width 100% from the margin. From the top 2%, from the left 0%, uh, right 0%, from the bottom 2%, from the left 0%. Okay, let's refresh and check. So you can see that the perfect output is coming from here. So the now next task is we have to design that buttons from here. So how can we design that buttons? The simple way is give the button. And we need to set the weight is uh, width is 100 pixel and height is 35 pixel and its uh, outline will be the none and its uh, border width 
border width zero pixel and it's uh let's refresh it again so you can see that the output is coming perfectly here but from the right we need some margin from the right margin right two percent refresh it so you can see that let's see with the four percent i think we need to set the weight 150 pixel refresh it one percent refresh it 130 pixel refresh it one 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 twenty pixel refresh it so you can see that now now it's coming perfectly very good very perfect so oh yeah 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 just make one change from here just remove this uh, where is the margin yeah just remove this margin from here and set the padding from here from the both side we need uh, two percent of padding refresh it so you can see that now we have set that margin from here with that one percent okay okay no, 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 not like that margin from the top zero percent from the right 1.5 percent from the bottom zero percent and from the left 0.5 percent let's refresh it again so you can see that now the output is perfectly coming perfect output perfect but here zero percent okay two percent from the right zero percent from the bottom and two percent from the left and we set the box sizing border box and also we need to remove the top border uh, top padding two percent refresh it again so you can see that now the output is perfectly coming perfect output so in the same way we need to give the id yeah yeah yeah, yeah. let's give the id id equal to f id equal to g id equal to t and id equal to w let's refresh going to the style sheet yeah f b g p t w we made a mistake from here f b g p t w now refresh so you can see that the color is coming perfectly here so the now that we need to make one changes from here from the left side course uh, yeah here a tag then text decoration text decoration will be none its color will be has ff simple so you can see that perfect output is coming from here now we need to find out the whatsapp color so how can we do that so going to google.com we said the whatsapp color code so here is the whatsapp color code control c has w back crown this one okay let's refresh and check so you can see that the whatsapp color is completely perfectly coming from here 
so now the next task is we need to radius that uh, borders from here just like we have here so i can do this a simple way very simple way is come back here and say the border radius 15 pixel let's refresh and check so you can see that the perfect output is coming from here now we also need to set a cursor for, uh, here so we set the cursor will be pointer and display block let's refresh it again so you can see that the cursor is coming now perfectly but when someone hover on it then its radius is gone okay so i'm going to do the simple hover then 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 border radius zero pixel let's refresh and check so you can see that but not in the smooth way so if you do that simply the simple way is use the transition property transition all 0.3s is in out let's refresh it again you can see that perfect output is coming from here you can see that perfect output as we have here so i think guys this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and we will do what we will do in next tutorial in next tutorial we are going to create this uh, description section from here you can see that we use the we are creating this description section from here and if we have a time then we also create this related courses section so in next tutorial we are going to be working on this one so guys if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel just because when i upload the new videos then you can get the direct notification into your inbox so guys stay connected with me stay tuned we'll meet you in next tutorial thanks for watching Goodbye.